Hey, what's going on everyone? This is the OP Jealous, and today I have week number 8 of season number 6 of the WPL today. Going up against Matt O'Shea, coach of the Montreal Melodics. Be sure to go ahead and check him out down below in the description. We've done some stuff together, we did a live over on here, and we did a list video uh, at, about Draft League stuff on over on his channel, so be sure to go ahead and check him out right now. But let's go ahead and get right into the matchup right now. We have an Assault Vest Cryagonal, which is pretty much made to switch into the Nagnadel. Uh, we can take two Dracos, even if it is Specs, because after the special attack drop, he'll only be doing like 20-30% to us, so that's pretty cool. We have a defensive Grand Bolt, it was mainly meant to switch into a Herrick, Cross, but he didn't end up bringing it, so it can also respond to the Slurpuff of the Lycanroc pretty well. Then we have uh, Rindoberry Manaphy right here with Tail Glow, and the reason for this is if he wants to copy me with the Ditto and try to hit me with an Energy Ball, it'll only do like 50-60% at plus 3 and we'll Oko him back with our Energy Ball, so that's pretty cool right there. And then we have Specs Gengar, it can Oko the Lottie, it's a great Bronze Junk check too. And then we have Adamant Scarf Mamoswine, which is a great check to the Naganadel and the Lottie. Uh, the Naganadel might be Scarf, but and it's also a great check to the Lycan Rock, so that's pretty cool. And then the Rail Win Con this week is our Subcom on the Latios with Recover and Stored Power. Pretty much after we get to plus two, we can recover, stall everything, and we can, even if it is Specs Naganadel, we can still recover up on that. And Stored Power is just going to be destroying everything. Even the Bronze Zong takes like 40%, so that's pretty much what it is. Uh, we're pretty much sitting at, I think we're sitting at four and three right now, and Matt's sitting at five and two, so we really want to win this one. Uh, obviously, Matt's record doesn't matter to us because he's not in the same conference as us, but we really want to win this one and move on to a positive record of 5-3, and three. so let's go ahead and get into it. I lead off here with my Mammoth Swine as he leads off with the Slurpuff. Now, right here, I go for the Icicle Crash, turn 1, and miss as he goes for the Belly Drum. Now, this could have not mattered depending on what play he decided to make next. He's going to reveal the Citrus Berry, so had I connected, I would have done around 50-60% depending on how much HP investment he has, and basically, he would have gotten his Citrus Berry back and been around 55-65%. And then pretty much, I could have tried to go Grand Ball on a Drain Punch, but I figured if I did connect, he would just go for the player off at that point and just take whatever damage he can. So it kind of sucks, but uh, it really would have come down to a 50-50 after that, whether I stayed in and tried to attack him again or just gone Grand Ball. But uh, now I have to just sack this thing to the Drain Punch, and he's going to get a ton of health back. Had I gone Grand Ball, he would have been... Uh, I would have been in range of the player off after that, even after this Intimidate, but Grand Ball is one of the two mods that live this, so he goes right for the player off and takes some Rocky Helmet damage as I go for the player off of my own. That's quite a bit, and now he's going to go for the Drain Punch. He gets quite a bit of health back, but after the Rocky Helmet damage, he is in range of my Manaphy Surf right now. So I got into Manaphy, I just, uh, I live the player off obviously because we are very bulky. I just go right for the Surf right there, which is pretty cool. Now he's going to bring out his Noggin Adele. I do have a Cragnal that's pretty much made to respond to this, and I believe I click knockoff just wanting to scout the Nagandel's item, but he actually ends up going out into the Bronze Lung right here, and he knocks off a Colbert Berry. Now, I figured at this point, it's not worth switch saving my Cragnal. I'm not sure what the Bronze Lung wants to do, but if I switch into Hard into Lottie and try to set up, but he goes for like a Toxic or something, then Lottie is not the win con anymore, so I figured the best play right here was just to... Uh, get this thing weakened as he just goes for the gyro ball and just knocks me out and so now i can bring in my lottie i decide to scout for the toxic first and go right for the substitute but his player of choice is just to gyro ball me so he's going to break my substitute and i go for calm mind right now as he's just going to continue clicking gyro ball right here and i believe this is where he reveals the explosion tech and that's pretty great because i didn't get enough boosts to live a draco meteor from the nugget of now so he's going to go right into it my only hope is that he misses but he unfortunately does not had he missed i would have okoed him with stored power and would have done a different match but Obviously, uh, you can't expect stuff like that, so I go right here for the Shadow Ball. He knows I'm Specs now because I just Oko'd the Latias, which I'm um, assuming it had some Spedef in it. But now he just goes out into the Gengar and he can click Shadow Ball twice. It's obviously Scarf Gengar because Scarf Ditto is pretty much the best set. As he's going to go for Shadow Ball twice here and just pick off both my last months. So, I feel as though we could have really brought it back had if he had he not had the Explosion because that Bronze would have been complete setup fodder for my Latias. I would have been able to calm and recover. I'm not sure whether he had Toxic or not, but... Pretty much I had to get to a really high amount of health and then I would have to get behind a substitute which I don't think I would have been able to done because the gyro ball would have broken it every time and then the ditto could have come back in after and tried to copy my stat boost so I really don't think Lottie could have won that one right there because I was not going to get behind a substitute and the imposter would have copied me so yeah that's it is what it is we're going to fall to 4 and 4 and I think at this point we have to win at least 3 out of 4 of our match last matches to even have a chance at playoffs. In order to secure it, to come 100%, we have to win all four of them. So, it's going to what I'm going to be trying to do, obviously. But next week, we face DS Gaming and the Birmingham Volvix for the second time. We did battle him in week with three, and I believe we lost 2 0, something like that. Yeah. So, that'll be interesting. But, yeah, once again, be sure to go ahead and check out Matt down below in the description. And I'll see you guys next week. Later.